What's up guys, Outdoors Man here. Today I'm going to put together a video for you to show you how to calculate CFM on a compressor. Uh, so the compressor I have here, uh, my friend and I had the discussion about what the actual CFM is. As you can see it's uh, made from an old propane tank, I made it myself. Uh, made from an old propane tank, a uh, compressor head, and then a uh, 5 horsepower 220 uh, volt motor. Uh, so the discussion was exactly how much CFM this compressor puts out as it's uh, understandably quite powerful but we were kind of curious how we'd actually get that number. So I figured I'd put this video together today to kind of show you how you can do that and how you can test your own compressor. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to have to make sure that your compressor is completely empty. So just open up the bleed valve on it or if you have another uh, bleed valve at the bottom just make sure that's opened up and make sure your tank's completely empty. Our next step is going to be to turn the compressor on and time how long it takes for the compressor to fully fill up. So I'm going to use my iPhone for doing that. There you go. So we've got a reading of exactly five minutes for the compressor to fill. Now something of note is this compressor is actually only working at half capacity because it's so powerful that it actually blew up one of the cylinders on me uh, last year, which I haven't been able to replace yet. So if it was working at actual capacity, it would actually be filling twice as fast. But either way, we can use the measurements that we have right now. So next you need to know how much pressure is in your tank. So this one that I've designed holds about 160 PSI. So you can't really see it with this angle of the camera, but I'll try to get a still shot of it with my phone so I can show you what I'm talking about. Now it comes to my least favorite part of this, the math. So we have a 100 pound propane tank. We know that the 100 pound propane tank is the equivalent to 24 gallons of space in that tank. So what we need to do is we need to take our gallons and convert them into cubic feet. So we take our 24 gallons, multiply it by 0.132, and that gives us 3.216 cubic feet. So we need to take that 3.216 cubic feet and multiply it by the pressure that we have in our tank when it's full, which is 160. And that equals 514 and 56. We take our 514 and 56, and divide it by the atmospheric pressure. So that's gonna change depending on where you are. Where I'm located here, it's about 14. So once we've done that, we're left with 36 cubic feet of air in our tank at this pressure. Then we take the 36 and divide it by the five minutes it took us to fill our tank. And that means that our tank is capable of producing 7.2 cubic feet per minute well, the tank is at 160 PSI. And there you have it. That's how you calculate the CFM on your compressor. I hope this video helps you. If it does, please give it a like and remember to subscribe to my channel.